welcome to EasyLM Learning Simplify. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on organic chemistry. We are going to be looking at isomerism in alkenes. So we are going to look at the different types of isomerism that occur in alkenes and then you will get a chance to look at how those isomers form and some practice questions. So first of all, as uh, alkenes usually show two different types of isomerism. We have branching and positional isomerism. So branching isomerism was an isomerism we discussed in alkenes where you change the structure of the compound. And then positional means that you change the position of the bond, double bond. So we will start with the branching isomerism. It occurs when a substituent group is attached to one of the carbon atoms in the largest chain containing the double bond. So we will start with butene. We are going to see how many branches butene has. So we will draw butene, which has four carbon atoms with a double bond. So this is hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. Hydrogen, 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 and hydrogen. So the first thing we said when you are doing isomerism for branching, you are going to take this CH3. We pick this side because you do not want to move the double board. And you can place it anywhere as long as it sits in the center carbon. So you can place it in this carbon and you can't place it in this carbon. It needs to be in this center carbon. So we are going to place it in this carbon. So our new isomer is going to look like this so it's going to be reduced to three carbons and we have brought our ch3 here the one that we just moved and then after that we just put the double board where it was and place the hydrogens so butene has one isomer branching isomer and it's referred to as two methyl pen Prop in, prop one in. So let's look at pentene. Pentene has five carbons. So these are double board at the first carbon. Then we place the hydrogens. Always remember to count. Do not forget. Ensure that each carbon modes a maximum of four bonds. If it has more, it means you are wrong. So we are going to move this CH3 and we'll start placing it at the end. So you we'll place it here in this carbon first. So the first branch is going to look like this. So there are four carbons remaining. So we have placed the CH3 here and there's a double board here. So we place the hydrogen. This is how it looks like. Don't forget to count the number of boards surrounding carbon so that you do not make an error. So this is going to be the first branch and it's called 2-methyl bit 1-in. So after that, we are going to check if it's possible to place another CH3 somewhere else. And you notice even if we pick this CH3, we do not have a place to place it. You can't put it here because the number of boards are already so this is the only branch in pentene. So let's go to the next one. Exine has six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's a double board. So we put the hydrogens. Ensure you count. So first we move this CH3, we can place it in this first, so it becomes five carbons. And then the CH3 comes here, remember there's a double board here, so we put the hydrogens, don't forget to count. So next we can pick this CH3 and bring it here in this carbon 
so that we have four carbons. Um, there is a CH3 here and a double board and the new CH3 we have brought in. So we place the hydrogen. Don't forget to count so that you don't make an error. Make sure every carbon has four bonds. So for this first we'll call it 2-methyl. Paint one in. This is going to be 2-3-dimethyl. Uh, but one in so we can't move further than that uh, this is the last one so you can go and check out uh, the uh, branching uh, isomerism in other uh, members of the alkene next we have positional isomerism positional isomerism is where we alter the position of the double board so for example in but one in it means it has four carbons and the uh, double board is in carbon number one. So this is how but one in looks like. So if you move this double board to this position, it's going to be like this. So we have moved the double board here. So it's no longer in uh, carbon number one it moves to carbon number two so when we name it and remember you count the number of boards because this is the place where errors are made ensure every carbon is you see these carbons that are in the center there ensure all the carbons are booted with four boards these ones are the most common places people make an error you can see this is one two three four the same case one two three four so remember it's correct so this is going to be but two in. So you see we have moved from but one in, we have gone to but two in. In case we decide to move this double board again, we are just going to repeat ourselves because if you start numbering from this side, you end up having but one in. So this is the only uh, positional branch we have for butene. Let's look at pentene, which has uh, five carbons and the, the double board is in carbon number one. So we can move this double board here. If we move it, this is how it's going to look like. It's still five carbons. But the double board now is going to move to this position. So we put on we put the hydrogens now. Remember, this carbon has three um, boards, so we add one. The same case with this, so we add one. This one needs two, and this needs three. So it changes from uh, pent one in to pent two in. If we decide to move this board here, and we start counting from this direction, one, two, we're just going to repeat ourselves. So this is the only positional isomer of pentene. Let's do the last one, exine, with uh, six carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There's a double board here. And then this has one hydrogen. This has more as, as we, you notice. And then this carbon has two, needs two that is, and this needs two, this needs three. So this is pen X1 in, so you can move this double board here. If we move it there, then still six carbon atoms. So the double board now it moves here. So we put the hydrogen. Remember this one requires three. This one requires one and also this one requires one as we, show, we showed earlier on. Count the number of boards supposed to be four. So when it moves there, it becomes X2 in. 
So we can decide to move it again to this position. If we move it to the position, it becomes so six carbons. Now we have moved it here. So this is hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. And then we have only one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. Hydrogen, 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 and hydrogen, and hydrogen. So this becomes X3 in. So you notice you can't go further than that because if you move this double board here, you're just repeating yourself if you count from this direction. So X in has two positional isomers, which is X2 in and X3 in. So you can be taught to write all the isomers of an alkene. When you do so, remember you can use both branching and positional isomerism to get the isomers. So you notice like, for example, for butene, we had one for structural or branching isomerism and we had one for positional. That tells you it has a total of two isomers. So you can draw all of them. Sometimes you can still mix all of them and get the correct answer. So those are the two ways of branching in alkenes. So that brings us to the end of the session. So see you in the next lesson.